Hey guys, it's Lars here driving cars with Lars down at the Stetler Dodge at the Agerplex. I just wanted to do a good, really good walkthrough on a 2017 Longhorn with the 20,000K that we're going to be blowing out of here for 46 and change. So, um, but I'm going to go through in detail just in regards to a Longhorn and what it's all about. So, here this one is a two tone with uh, the luxury brown with the gold bottom that you can see and you even have the color matching on the inside of the rims inside of here that it's going to match up with the gold on the outside of the uh, the two-tone that you're going to have available that you're going to see as you come around to the front here you're going to have your nice looking crosshairs of the longhorn and also some good HID headlights tow hooks that you can see and obviously some fog lights um, you even have sensors on here that you can actually see um, so if you're getting really close in a parking lot um, It will obviously beep at you uh, To letting you know that uh, you're getting close to that area As we come around you can then see you got your trailer tow mirrors With the, the lights on the side and these ones will flip up for you So if you need to pull something you'll have that there for you as well And uh, we'll keep on coming around the side here one of the things I really truly like, and anyone that's ever had Ram boxes inside of our dealership has never gone back and saying I don't want an, a Ram box. Um, they've always really liked them. If you see inside, they're, it's all waterproof. You got little latches inside of here that you can pull out if you do get water inside of here. Um, there's even slots here for dividers. I see people like using it for outdoors so for like if you want to put like guns or if you want to put fishing rods um, or dividers in here for your ropes and your first aid kits and stuff like that um, and of course it's lit as well so you could uh, at night time you can easily see everything that's going on in the inside and then on the side here you also got your rear sensors nice dual exhaust tips and then you've got a hitch inside of here now depending on the truck to the rear end, you're going to be um, anywhere between 9,500 to 2,500 pounds uh, towing capabilities. And then you got your backup camera inside of here to, well, uh, we'll go show you that on the inside, but that'll be get appeared up on the screen in there for you as well. Um, we'll open this up and here you've got box lighting. The nice thing is about the Ram boxes here as well, you got the binders that's inside. So if you want to put a Rubbermaid container inside of here, this helps it not from sliding all the way down. And you can still put a tunnel cover on here, but you've got spots that you can tie things to um, if you wanted to have that tying it into the box there as well. As we come around the back here, or to the front again, we'll uh, open up the door here. One of the things that the, the truck has as well, we have the keys. Now we're in the back of the cab and uh, obviously these seats fold right up. There's a little light in here to give you that visibility as well. Um, you got your storage compartments. You got one on either side here. Um, this is just for like sandwiches, um, cold beverages and stuff like that that you can put in there. And then with this here, this is kind of a nice feature. You can actually unfold this, uh, lay it down nice and flat and obviously you can uh, go all the way across and it'll have up to uh, 400 pounds worth of holding on here um, I see some families they'll put their kids on it and the way they, then the child can still put their feet down and they're not just dangling in the air and gives them a little bit of a rest there for them we'll hold this back up here in a longhorn you do um, oh sorry I should have gone through this here as well as you got this cubby in here and then you got your heated seats with a plug-in so if anyone has like charging their devices, portable devices and stuff, they can do that. Let's put this back down again. And then here we uh, obviously got your power seats, memory seats and lumbar support that you're gonna have inside of here. And uh, we can adjust those seats there. Obviously automatic headlights, your dimmer switch, and you got fog lights going on. Power adjustable pedal, and uh, obviously your audio controls that you're gonna have inside of here. And obviously inside of the door, you got your door uh, locks and your power windows, your power mirrors, uh, everything is easy accessible. 
So I'm actually going to hop on the inside and go through some of the features on the, on the inside of the truck here for you. All right, so we're now we're inside the truck, but one of the features I wanted to go through with you, the, the truck has the air ride suspension in it, and let me just turn on some lights in here so we can be a little bit brighter. So air ride suspension, so you can actually lower it by pressing this button twice, and then it makes it easier for people to get into the truck, um, and then as you start driving, it will just auto adjust back to a normal height there for you. Nice thing that you got, you in the Longhorn, you got all this super nice, real wood trim all the way that you see, just to give it a nice look, and um, you get a nice good feel for it, and good feel the good quality of it. Now, um, you even got a little spot here for a couple of your phones, if you want to hook them up into here, um, or a tablet, and then you got a little spot to hook some, uh, for the charging it and keeping it charged. As we open this part of it up, you got another spot for a USB and an auxiliary. This kind of connects up to our Uconnect system in here. Um, and then another USB here for just to be able to plug in a separate device as well. And then you got your big, nice storage console in the middle here. And then you can see going from left to right, we're gonna go, you got your trailer brake. Here is what I was telling you about your air ride. They got off-road setting one, off-road setting two. Um, so then if you're gonna go off-roading, you can actually raise the truck up to give you more clearance. Um, you got your heated and cooling seats and heated steering wheel. The front and rear sensors, you can turn them off. I showed them earlier on the bumper. Your tow haul, your traction control. And obviously dual climate control is here for you. And then you got your two-wheel drive, your four-wheel auto, your lock, and your four-wheel low. And a neutral if you wanted to flat tow the truck as well. Um, here's your 8-speed transmission, they call this a rotatory dial, and, uh, and then you get into your Uconnect system where it's all easy accessible for um, controlling your backup camera, you can easily access that, so right on the fly, as you're driving down the road you can actually turn on your backup camera, and then you also got your apps, which is kind of like your smartphone where you can... Um, move your icons into different places all you do is just hold down the icon and move it into of the one that you want to switch it out with and then put it into that spot there for you and the same thing with your phone if you want to pair up your phone or your tablet here you can do up to seven different devices and it's very simple very easy to use you just go into your Bluetooth of that device look for Uconnect and then it will start its pairing procedure and stuff like that there for you and the other thing is inside of here you got your navigation or GPS um, you know nice things about inside of this we're partner up with Garmin and you can easily access like the point of interest so if you're kind of lost and not sure if there's a restaurant or a hotel or a gas station or an ATM machine you just press it and then it'll bring you to the nearest kind of bank or ATM that you can easily get accessible there and uh, media is there for you if you have bluetooth or auxiliary or even a flash drive works too for you um, and then your settings and this is where you can kind of go in and and customize everything for you in regards to setting up the truck the way you want to and uh, you also up here you went up into this part if you had a garage door opener as long as it's newer than 1996 and then you got your back window as well and um, Obviously this one doesn't have a sunroof, so you'll see some Longhorns. These little two plastic the little devices here are for your mics. That's where you're talking into back, into um, to talking back when you're through Bluetooth and stuff like that, and voice recognition as well. And then this one here, it'll kind of get in a little closer, is where your dash, and you can see that there's a, a few different options that you can go through in here. But I'll touch that on another time another video I thought it, I would go through a little bit more in the truck um, for you as well another nice thing about this keyless entry um, is you can just grab the door handle you don't even have to hit unlock or lock and then it's also a push start feature here as well so but uh, anyway so I just uh, thanks so much for watching this video and uh, if you have any questions or uh, any comments uh, Feel free to leave them on my Facebook or on the YouTube channel here of Driving Cars with Lars. So thanks for watching the video.